Okay. Nice. Look, look. Anything else that we want to make sure that we do here? Like, I don't think we've gone into any buildings yet, right? We basically only have played that guy at Gwent. That was an interesting way to maneuver there. No, we bred that one. And let's loot this. And I'm guessing, yeah, we're mostly just going to find a ton of alcohol here and maybe the occasional geography book. Is one lootable? Well, we may have already taken that. Okay, that seems like everything here. And then I don't think we have anything special to say to you guys. Okay, so that's that building. Let's try... I'm not going to lie. I know that Sedge's Butcher... For some reason, I really thought that said Batman for a split second. I was like, what? What are you doing here? Uh, is this safe to take? Almost certainly not. As for this, don't mind me. See if you're a common folk. Bat devil take you. Can we loot this, please? Up here? Yes, we can. Okay. What else? Over here? Sure. I know your kind. That's this building. What do we have remaining? This over here, I think. That building down there, that might be it. Or lootable stuffs. Oh, okay. A little bit different that time around. Caught me a bit off guard. Oh, there's still this. Who keeps water in a little lockbox like that? You know, I was hoping maybe something like the family jewelry has been passed down for ten generations and is worth a small fortune. I have redeem ingot though. I'll, yeah, I'll take that. That'll do. Anything else? Yeah, more alcohol, as expected. That's more along the lines of what we typically see here. Okay, that seems like just about everything here. And we were saying. We still need to do these little buildings over here, and these little piggies went to market. So this building here, oh, it's the trunk. That's, that's great. Pleased to meet you. Like, uh, he doesn't look happy. And that was me attempting to speak to him, but apparently extinguishing the flame instead. And he really doesn't want to speak to us anyway. So, uh, okay. Maybe. We have the uh, off. There we go. Uh, excuse me. That's uh, that's copyrighted right there. Somehow you have uh, transcended time and space and traveled. Uh, what is it? Seven hundred fifty years in the future and quoted Steve Miller Band. You must be prospering around here, huh? Oh. What do we got here? Ain't so easy to get it out. Why is that? Being too deep in the rock? Nay, there's something in those caves. Something that kills any man that enters. Pickaxe in hand or no? Okay, I mean, we did hear about some missing miners, so I do wonder if maybe this is... Oh, it's actually you, though, that we're supposed to talk to? Okay, never mind. What's this offer? Got a contract for me? Might do, if you're willing to partner with me. Huh? I usually work alone. Could pay to make an exception this time. It's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter north of the Yaruga, Jenga Fred himself. Uh, what? I mean, isn't it usually the case where witchers, you guys were saying, their thing is that they only go after monsters? They don't do bounty hunts against humans? I mean, obviously we, we've fought humans before. Not to say that we haven't fought humans, it's definitely happened. It's just that we don't do like contracts for them. 
So this does seem like this is potentially against the Witcher code in some ways. But well, let's at least explore the option. I'll bite. What's the famous Tianga Fret need a Witcher for? I'm guessing you're a man of the world. Perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels. Uh, you hunting them? Maybe? Aye. Quite the rogues they are. Three of them. And everyone's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. Even took to grave robbing lately. Easy to recognize on account of the yellow caps they wear. Folks see three yellow tops, they flee to their huts. Which don't help much, of course. Because they're also fond of arson. No, haven't met him. If you do... I'm not entirely sure I believe this story. Quick to stick a knife in a man's gut. Often just by way of greeting. Doubt they'd try that with a witcher. You never know with that lot. Right, well I head south soon. Haven't looked there yet. Fare you well. We might meet again someday. Okay. Sad tale of the Grossbart Brothers. Sad tale? I don't know. Should we really be hunting these guys down? Let's check what level it is. Sad tale. 26. So that's, uh, that's on the higher end, for sure. Okay. So probably not something we'd be doing in the immediate future anyway. Let's see. We've already gone in here, right? This was the drunk. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, that, that dog just showed us who was boss. Is there anything else we want to check out? There was a little area, yeah, that's a little bit further off. Let's make sure we check this stuff out too. And you got your cows. You doing push-ups? Yes. <laughs> Casually doing push-ups while wearing a chest plate. And the helmets. But I prefer me trusty ass. That's no easy feat. That is extremely difficult. You're fighting each other. That's fine. I just uh, heard someone drawing a sword right as we turned our back to them. I was like, oh god, what have we done? You've come a long way. Let's see us dead. Oh, these buildings are actually surprisingly large. And not surprisingly, are full of drinks. Over here. Anything else? Oh, yes. Don't mind me. Game was like, oh, really, Lids? You thought it was only going to be alcoholic beverages? No, no, no. One moment we throw in the odd herb here and there and this little flower for you just to mix things up just to keep you guessing i suppose so okay so that's that building there ah uh, this is locked it's another butcher butcher's freaking everywhere worms on your brain them the only worms here don't like me go chew some grass okay look ill to me another random skelliger okay i think this building might be the only one we've not yet tried or did we go in here first no this is new uh the reason why Seeing those signs over there, I think we do have a lot of livestock around here. And dogs as well, so might just be one of them. Assuming there isn't like a giant fiend that's about to raid the city. Uh, what was that? Yes, we have read this. Other things here a little bit. Not sure we've found anything amazing just yet. I don't think we actually looted anything on this side. We just checked it out. Uh, that is because there's okay. There is a little bit over here. I'm saying there might be precisely nothing. I think that's it though. And that is a huge guard doll. Oh my goodness. And yes, it can push us around. 
that's the indicator we were seeing before, and then just check this up here. More cows? Yes. No. Leave us alone. This actually looks like it might be the biggest building here. I don't think we've been here. No. Doesn't seem like we have. Is anybody home? Yeah, because it seems like when we go to these areas, these little villages, before we do much in the way of main quests, that oftentimes we, we end up just with this scenario here where we run into occasionally someone we have something to talk to them about. With some new quests like the Bounty Hunter guy we were speaking to recently. But for the most part, it's just us looting things from homes and not much else to do here. Eh, occasionally, like the, the Gwent players here and there, right? Or the, the pigs. Not gonna listen to the pig pen? We need the password? You know, I will have you know, we successfully turned some people from pigs back into humans a while back. We, uh, we're kind of a pig connoisseur of sorts, you could say. What? She's like, <gasps> I've been waiting all my life for a pig connoisseur. Eh? Or not. Let's just check this out. And I think that is it. Oh, this too. And this. Okay, I, I was wrong. And this. I was definitely wrong. Okay, you really gotta stop doing the, the gasping. That's not cool. Oh! Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You go first. Yes. Oh, you don't want to go outside. Of course not. Why would I even Mars, think man. such a thing? Not exactly right yeah, right. also, sorry guys, um, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take those hours. if you don't mind. Ooh. What, uh, you, you spent your, your life savings on the seeds to plant these crops, and if they don't get harvested effectively and successfully, then your entire family will starve? I'm sorry, what was the problem? Nah, they'll be fine. They'll be, I mean, but look at how much Ripley here. I mean, we don't really need to be taking this much. I think this was already one of the ones that we had a bazillion of. Okay. Can you swing an axe? So we'll take a little bit here and there. Let's take a look on our map. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. It's definitely a lot. So, have we gone all the way down here yet? Let's double check may not have actually been that far down otherwise that's just about everything in this section here so let's see may have just not realized that we were stepping foot in a slightly different section like is it this stuff over here. We serve her you must be who is burdened around here, here, huh? Uh, no, we've definitely already been here. But it is further still in this direction. Across the bridge? No, I don't remember doing this. This is definitely new. Dead tired, huh? And it looks... Interesting. Maybe this is a tavern? One. Or just as Gyar. Hello, Gyar. Greetings, Watcher. Are you. Oh, oh, you're the missing miners person. Okay. Farewell. No, don't think we want to speak to you about them just yet. Because I'm pretty. Oh, glowing ore. That's good. Pretty sure that was one of the ones we were saying is on the higher end in terms of level, and so it's not going to be something that we want to do that soon.
we know you're here now. Probably would have learned about that had we looked more closely at that specific quest, but like I was saying, we were thinking we'd rather do other things first. Forgot seeds, those are on the rarer side in terms of finding them in the wild, though most shopkeepers, most herbalists, do still carry them. On occasion, we've made a point of purchasing them for that reason. Okay. I think that's about it in this building. Was this the only building in this more removed section? Seems like it. In which case, I think we probably head down to this question mark here. Unless there is something just outside this building somewhere. Like this shack? Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. Okay. So I think the place that we have marked with the, the custom marker and the question mark is probably this beaten down area here. Uh, although there is something else here. A hidden treasure that I don't think was on our map. Double check. I don't think that's the one that we marked. I think that's entirely new. No, that is it. Okay, it's actually just closer than I expected. I don't know what that is that we're seeing further off in the distance there. Uh, I mean, oh, I was gonna say, is there anyone guarding this? Surely there is, right? Itinerant merchant notes and small chest key. Okay, so my guess. Oh, pray be praised, new quest. Okay, let's check it out. Pray, uh, be praised. Where are ya? What? Where'd you go? I, I don't think I saw you. Did I just go right over you? Huh? Did we complete it? Did we get it and then immediately complete it because we fixed this stuff up? Oh, my Witcher contract, is it? I doubt it? Or treasure? It might be a... Okay, it is a treasure hunt. That's why. Read the crumpled note. Let's do it. Uh, it no longer has the prompt on. Hold on. We will do it the old-fashioned way. He's here. I think this was it. Praise be to Freya. Our great mother. They said the road was fraught with danger, that sea devils awaited any who traveled it, that a bandit lurked behind every tree. But I sacrificed a lamb to Freya, and donned an amulet made, made of falcon feathers. And lo and behold, I traversed the entire isle without so much as drawing my sword. But I do think this guy is currently dead, so uh, yeah, I guess ultimately it didn't work out so well for you. And did some fine trading along the way. Packed my chest so full of silver and other treasures that in my back or that my back near snapped, setting it on the wagon. Uh, we'd like to pick up some silver. If everything goes as planned, I don't think it did. I'll be home by tomorrow around sunset. I owe the goddess mightily for the tender care she's taken of me. Mm -hmm. Think again about that. And now find the treasure using our Witcher senses. I mean, it said it's a level four quest, but at the same time. They are level 15 muck nixers right next door. So I feel like that's a, that's a little generous. I mean, I'm gonna take these guys out even if they aren't technically affiliated with the quest. How dare you immediately remove the plant? That was rude. There are a lot of guys. It's not cool. Here with the little fencing poke. Oh, jab. Yeah, that was that was nifty. I'll, I'll give you that one. And then they may have killed something over here. Yeah, this is just one of their victims. Okay, so the it looks like the target is actually way out in the way out in the water at least. Before we head over there, let's loot you guys. And you. That's not much. May have also been some loot directly on the uh, 
the place where we got the key. Wouldn't rule that out. I think we were maybe just a little quick. Move on from this spot here. Make sure we didn't miss anything. In the cart. No. Seems as though that all fell out. And I see the red outline here. So uh, I, I didn't really see the, the scent marker. But uh, sure. Yeah, just find the treasure chest using our Witcher senses. Sure thing. That I can do. Ooh. Gold pearl necklace. Gold casket. Gold telly figurine. Amethyst and a new sword. Okay, let's surface. Let's check out the sword. It's this one here. It's a steel sword. Has better base damage. Though it has only a 4% chance to cause burning, whereas our sword does still have that crit chance and crit bonus, which works really well for what we have on right now, or, or for what we're doing skill-wise. There's a lot of additional damage, though. Ooh. Seems like another, another instance of it matters. Trying to sort of draw the line as to exactly how much do we care about the additional crit chance? Is it worth 29 additional damage? Is it worth more than that? Is it worth less than that? I feel like it might still be worth a little bit more, but obviously we would like to find other weapon upgrades. I think we will eventually find one that we... I mean, in some ways, you could certainly make the point that that is a weapon upgrade. But uh, it's a matter of personal preference and trying to get something that is consistent with the the build that we are going with, so to speak. Ooh, that is a white bear. First time we've seen one of you. And I do wonder if maybe it, it drops the, the white bear. Because uh, we've seen that many times before. But always coming from chests and never from actual enemies in the face. It does make me curious. Yeah? White bear hide. Or actually, was it white bear or white wolves we found hide from on many previous occasions? I do wonder. Also, just curious if there's anything else in this little pond. There is some commotion coming from the other side. I'm a little curious of that, though there's also this area here, which was originally what I thought the question mark would be referring to. So, apparently not? Oh. That is a quest item. We have enough quests unreserved that we've started without pursuing much that I'm concerned that we could certainly jump the gun there. I'm guessing that's probably the minor stuff. That seems like that could potentially be the entrance to a mine. So, uh, maybe. But basically, I just think that's, well, at the same time, there's no marker here at all. So there is a very real possibility that we could never see this place again because we would never have reason to make a point of going here by looking at our, our map. So tell you what, let's, let's do a quick check. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and check all of our quests here and see does anything point directly in front of us. This does not. Went definitely not going to. Fist of Fury definitely not going to. Uh this that also a race trial, I think it is. Yeah. Not that. Then, uh, advanced alchemy? I, I doubt it. No. Okay. And the order is switching around on me a little bit, which is making things a little bit more difficult, but Lord of Unvik, I know that's on a different island. Possession. I think that's also on a different island. That's also a racing one. That's not gonna be here. Rossbart Brothers in Southern Ard Skellig. I don't think we're far enough south, and these definitely aren't people, unless 
I don't know, maybe one of them is dead and directly in front of us? No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, so now it said the closest spot was 663 steps away. Then... Uh, Family Blade? For a thieves camp near the obelisk? I have no idea where that is. That's up further north. That's similar to some places where we were previously. We might have actually happened across that place if we had just explored a little bit more in that area. Let's check other stuff, though. Are we clear to take this? Gwent old pals, definitely not. Definitely not. That's also Gwent. Master Armors, I, I don't think this is going to be. Or that's also on a different aisle, Unvik. Following the thread is look for Hammond on Pharaoh, which is another island. Meet Nidus. Nope. High stakes is a totally different area. Yeah, not seen anything that's pointing us in this direction here. So I think let's do it. Skeleton's been picked clean, but there's something next to it. Old King Mysterious Map. Let's read it. Okay. That's the waterfall. That's the dramatic waterfall that we saw in that previous place, right? That I was talking about. X marks the spot. Okay, so it is a new quest. Glad to see that we did opt to check it out then, because otherwise we, like I said, wouldn't just outright miss this. Oh, what the heck was that, though? A wraith? It sounded like a dragon. <laughs> Fool me. I'm expecting some ginormous dragon to swoop down and just one-shot us. Not you. Anyone else? Maybe? Viewer? Okay, let's double check the level on that one. I'm assuming it's probably pretty far away. I'm assuming that's probably a treasure hunt. Not with your contracts. Treasure hunts. X marks the spot. Yeah. Well, all the map. Or where is this actually? Point? Uh. No, we've not yet been there. It is another village of sorts, it would seem, or at least near one. So. I guess the question here that I'm that I'm starting to form in my head is. We're doing a lot of exploring towns and not necessarily, and we're getting quests, but we're not necessarily going out and completing all those quests. We've done a little bit here and there, but our list of quests is growing quite long. So, this is just treasure hunts, but uh, more so secondary quests here. And the Witcher contracts as well. So, Eventually, once we say focus a little less on exploring and instead focus on questing, we would have a bunch of things that we could just do non stop side quests for a long time, which I suppose in many ways is what we were doing back in Velen and Novigrad. It's just that it, it that was a while ago, so maybe that's still fine. It just feels like we're gonna do a lot of exploring and exploring exclusively, and then a lot of side questing and side questing exclusively, but we're mixing it a little bit here or there. Of, quest whenever we do come across them. I just think this one is taking us a fair ways in the opposite direction, so that might not really be something we're looking for here. Thinking more likely we'd want to check out what's on the opposite side of this body of water. And I thought that was where we saw some indication of, yeah, I don't know if that's, no, that's not really it. That's another there, I think. Thing. Can't really tell from here. Looks a little. Nah, it's not a fiend. Coloration just looks a little bit different in this lighting, but it may still be a white bear. I think it is, yeah. Let's take it on. Want to run away? Nah, not really. Not really want to run away. Also, I totally win. So uh, let's, let's get the clan back on. And I would like to... Oh! That's, that's not the... 
plan I was looking for, actually. But, uh, that's, that's a sign I wanted. We also got rid of our field right around the same time. That was maybe not the right time to use a strong attack. Maybe not. We, you're taking damage over time here. Can we bleed you? We're taking a lot of damage over time with that. Is there a sort of chance to bleed on it? Maybe it does. Okay, well, that gets rid of you, yes, but that's not really the primary thing we were going over here for. The primary thing we were going over here for was for the question mark that we have our custom marker on. Buck running straight at us. If it could actually deal damage to us, then it probably would have. Antlers totally just hit us, but it looks like it. A group of bandits? And this actually looks like a pretty large outpost of some sort. Let's heal up for just a second here. These guys, they certainly look like bandits. I mean, one of our swords is pretty beat up here. Is it our steel or is it our silver? Looking like it's probably our steel. It's actually both, really. So at the moment, I think it's mostly our steel that is relevant because these guys are all, I'm assuming, going to be humans. So I am a little bit hesitant to just throw some of our best repair items on these guys when it seems like, as we've been saying before, we're close to being able to upgrade our weapon. And we might want to do so soon. And could that be an excuse to make the change right now or sometime in the near future? Oh, we? Huh. We could go back to the Witcher sword here. It does have a lot better damage. We were talking about how some of the other alternatives would have better damage. Would we like the crit on our existing sword? I think this might be the best alternative, actually. That might be a good way to do this here. I'm assuming you are not friendly? You're bandits. You have a knife? Yeah, pressed to your head. Like, uh, you don't seem to be trying to pick a fight with me, but I'm not sure why. Ow. Okay, uh, that's what I get for taking too long to decide which side I wanted to use. You just shot a crossbow bolt at me and got rid of that, that Quinn. Let's just uh, get rid of a few of you here. Igni would be very nice to try all of you simultaneously. I uh, only got two. Could have gotten a lot more, I think. A little bit unfortunate, missed opportunity there. Okay, uh, stop shooting your freaking crossbow. I'm, I mean, it's not really doing any damage to us, although it's probably actually both. Okay, Geralt, that was over to him. Pretty sure that guy was already, already dead for the fire. Again. Like, I get it that you have a, a flair for the dramatic, yes, but do you really need to? Alright, let's finally get rid of this guy, and it does seem like it's a, a bow, not a crossbow. As we might have suspected. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, did you, you want more? Yeah, that can be arranged. There we go. That is a lot of bandits. It looks like there's some kind of herbalist here, or at least will be once we clear this place out. So as soon as we loot this stuff, we'll give it a closer look. And this is, again, the low-end weapon type of stuff that bandits tend to drop that we usually... Oh, this still a decent crafting item, I suppose, but... We usually would, I mean, at times, would opt not to pick that up because it weighs a bit and is not worth that much. We'd like to dump it pretty quickly. God's bless and reward you with oh? I was a person in distress. That's the herbalist. That makes some sense. You're saying you're some place where you go is not far? I mean, there's this building over here. Is this not your home slash shop slash establishment. God's bless and reward you, Witcher. 
though I can give you only a moral schedule. Come by you at your home. I mean, I assume that's this, but you're walking in the opposite direction, which is confusing me a bit. So maybe we just check this out for a second. Looking for what the, the herb is. Oh, it's just selling bean. La. Okay. So, like, actually in your home? Do you have anything? Because it looks remarkably barren. Replaced with a lot of shelves that appear to have things on them. Remarkably barren. Also, anytime you want to uh, return so that we can actually speak to you about that reward you were talking about, because, you know, we did just, like, save your life and everything, that'd be great. God's bless and reward you, Witcher. Uh, yeah, well, apparently... Gods, uh, they're not blessing, rewarding us enough to make that happen. Okay, let's take another look at our map here. That was a person or persons in distress. Hmm, we go straight west. Looks like we'd run into, I mean, what appears to be some kind of mountain. Let's just look there and see. That'd be over here. Yeah. Something tells me we're not climbing over that. Something tells me we're not making it over that anytime soon. Probably do need to go around, because I was going to say. We could potentially take a bit of a shortcut to this area that we've not yet explored here, and then maybe that does mean we could make it over to the X marks the spot area. Though, I mean, it's not the end of the world to have to go further north to go around or south and maybe even go all the way down to this area here then we're we covered a lot of ground in Skelga if we do that because that would take us to this notice board here and then we'd have a couple more there and there and I think at that point we I'm sure we wouldn't have gotten the furthest east areas here but I think when we do ultimately go to the main quest which is right in this area we'll probably end up doing more of that stuff and there I'm, I'm sure there are additional things that are not showing up with just the question marks alone but I feel like that's a, a good way to set ourselves up is basically just get as good a sense as possible as to what all the options are in, in Skellige and then once we have those we can pick up our minds we'll have no shortage of choices as to what we can do next so yeah maybe that is a decent option there I felt like maybe for a minute there would make more sense to not take on the entirety of, or not explore the entirety of the island all at once but I mean it's, it's far smaller than say Belen or Novigrad so it's a lot more uh, I guess greater Novigrad so uh I mean even the city itself it maybe but uh it's fairly feasible I suppose to explore much of the island here and that feels kind of nice to be able to say that we can do that so let's let's give it a shot and then we'll have these other much smaller islands over here and i don't necessarily know which one is which but like we know unvik is a place where we have a lot of stuff going on but that's not this one like we may not have a fast travel spot there i doubt we do probably like this one here because we we're talking about how we we're gonna need to find someone else to uh sail us there and uh, if we could just teleport there, then we wouldn't really need anyone to sail us to the island, right? That would kind of defeat the purpose. So I'm thinking we head south. Come closer, stranger. Please don't ever praise anything like that again. So yeah, let's head in this direction. Let's see what we run into. Oh, this looks like this is one of the spots for one of the races, I assume. I mean, that is tempting right here. Oh, your name is Fish Breath? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, if we're hanging out over here, of course, we have done one of the races thus far. That's not a bad Glad idea. Let's here. give it a shot. We're one short of starting the race. You up for it? Oh, look at that. Sure. Sure am. Grab a horse. People, we've a third. Join in bold, Siga. I'm Fish Breath of Gear! 
will be Geralt of Rivia. Nice. All right. Here we go. Faster, faster. So this is presumably another one of the qualifiers. Again, I am stuck a bit between here, look out. Between looking at what is actually directly in front of us and what is on the mini map in the top right. Make sure that we are uh, aware of any strange turns. And we are definitely exploring more things in the process. We did just recently unlock an additional, uh, what was it? Like a fast travel spot. Okay, we don't really want to be sprinting this entire thing because we almost certainly will not have the stamina to do that. And that means that when we most need it, we will uh, not be able to sprint ahead of these guys. So I want to try to get go, at least go. a little bit back here, but we can't do that too late in the process. Otherwise we'll, uh, yeah. we'll well, lose. <laughs> it's like, it might be close. Yeah, okay. Whew. Maybe you should have just sprinted all the way through there. Listen, folk. Our winner is Geralt of Rivia. You bathed yourself in honor, Witcher. And Thanks. A beautiful price. We'll see about that. Was it like a bar of soap? That one was 25 experience. I feel like previous one was more I mean, we very well could have technically done the horse races out of order so to speak and done what was supposed to be the hardest one first this might be one of the easier ones i really don't know but there you have it another horse race done and we unlocked the or uncovered the palisade fast travel spot along the way the remnants of the palisade once marked the border between the territories of Clan Drummond and Clan Ancre. Ah, interesting. So Ancre is Crotch's uh, uh, group, right? So I don't think we've heard much about Drummond, though. That name sounds a little bit newer. So we it's not like we're sitting on top of a fast travel location right now, so it's not like we could beam ourselves up there. So I think we're just... I'm just gonna walk over here. A what? Roach is down. What? Oh, the race technically ended there, except when the quest ended, we'd still beamed ourselves up back here. So, okay, that's an interesting one. Uh, in some ways, it would have been more convenient had we. Uh, uh, Roach, please come back. Would have been more convenient had we actually just stayed there where the, the race finished. And we did pick up more horse items. Namely, this one here. But it's pretty bad. So this is another one of the reasons why I feel like maybe the previous race that we did was actually supposed to be later on because presumably the more difficult races are the ones that give the better rewards. Oh, and didn't we pick this up? Yeah, and it's much better and we did not yet switch over to it. So let's definitely do that before we forget because I did forget. Then I remembered for a little bit we were doing other things. I was like, eh, we'll do that on another occasion. Okay, this is the opposite direction. This is where we want to go. 